Farms Homestead. It is semi early in the morning right now. Um, it's Saturday morning. Uh, we're getting up, getting ready to go. We're going to run out to the property this morning and uh, bring out a load of materials. And uh, we're going to try and get a little bit of work done on the house. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to get done out there. Um, uh, Hope has to stay in town this week, so the only help I'm going to have is going to be true. And she's most excellent help, but she's little. So we'll see what we can get done. So stick around and we'll see what we can get done. Thanks. got out here we're all the way out here on the property and uh, I seem to have misplaced the keys to open the lock on the container and the lock for the RV but I brought up a load of stuff here just some random things I got a ladder some jerry cans I got some pieces of slate here this that we're gonna use for uh, Part of the floor in the um, in the building and I got some propane tanks and a few other things some uh, chairs and and uh, things for to make things more comfortable out here uh, when we stay out here and uh, mostly just a truckload of stuff some of the things that I brought back from uh, from Washington when we went up there so I got a few things here um, and we drove all the way out here to bring this stuff and then do a little work on the house and uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do any work because all of our gear is inside the container and I can't open it because I've left the keys or I can't find them typically I leave them in the truck but they're not where I normally put them so it's very possible that uh, I had them in my pocket and I put them on my side table at the house and then forgot about them so I'm hoping they're there because if they're not um, that means that I've lost them and I'm gonna have to find them or figure out a way to get into the container so I'll figure that out anyways so I'm gonna unload some stuff right here and put it next to the RV which is probably gonna have to go underneath of it or something for the time being and then uh, when I come up next weekend, I'll bring the keys and put it where it needs to go. So I'm going to unload some of this stuff and figure out where to put it and how to get it secure here. And then we'll take the rest of it to the container and unload it over there. So stick around. Thanks.
right, so I've unloaded all the stuff that we're gonna leave here at the RV. Um, this here, this is a piece of slate that we're gonna use in the floor of the house. This is full of fire brick. So this is what we're gonna use to build the uh, stove and the bread oven and the grill on the uh, outdoor kitchen that we're going to be building as soon as we're done with the house and uh, these are some spare parts of uh, the stove that we had we took the stove out of the RV because um, the system that was in it didn't work and the propane lines were all messed up when we got it so we took it out and we've got it here in front of the RV so uh, we just took it out and we're not using it but I have all of the pipe and all of the other parts that go to it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these pieces here like this we're gonna put these over the top of the openings and use them as burners and then this here I can use as part of the uh, stack for the um, for the uh, flu when it comes up. I forgot to bring all of the, I have some clay square uh, flu, uh, flu stone for the, um, for the fire, but I left those at the house. I didn't have room in this load. So we'll bring them up the next time we come up and those will be part of the stove that we can use. Hey, hey, relax you. So, but I need to get measurements of these for the openings so I know how big to make the openings on the stove. And I've measured and counted all of the uh, fire brick, excuse me, allergies. It's springtime, we got pollen going on. <laughs> You're being a weirdo. You see this? <laughs> all right, so. I need to uh, get measurements of these for the diameter so I can make the holes in the uh, stove the proper size when we design it. I'm going to go home and uh, draw a design for the uh, oven. I, I want to make it like a combination like a grill bread slash pizza oven slash stove that's wood fired so that we can cook on it. And. Uh, yeah, so I need to get measurements for everything and then I'm going to draw it on the computer and uh, I'll design it there so that we can come out here and build it. So, so I'm going to get measurements for these and then uh, we're going to grab the rest of this stuff. And uh, this stuff is going to get um, moved out at near the container and we'll just pile it up near the container and stack some tires around it and put a tarp over it and it'll be fine out there until I can bring the keys and get inside of the container. So I'm going to get some measurements and then we're going to drive over to the container and drop this stuff off and then uh, see what we can do over there, if anything, and we'll go from there. So stick around. Thanks. So, uh, I found the keys. Yeah. They are right where we left them. Yeah. So, the uh, container was left unlocked this whole time. And uh, we left the keys in the lock sitting right here. It's a good thing no one ever comes out here. <laughs> All right, so apparently I have everything I need in order to do any work that I want to do out here. So this is a good thing. Note to self, pay more or better attention. <laughs> yeah, I guess the last time we left here, we were in a bit of a hurry. So uh, yeah, I'll try to be more patient and uh, take more time in the future. So, all right, keys found. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna set up over here and we'll start unloading this stuff, so. Stick around. Thanks.
All right, so here we are at the earth bag house. Everything seems to be fine. Doesn't look like anything was damaged while we were gone. Um, doesn't look like there was a whole lot of traffic in here. No cows or anything that I can tell. So uh, I'll just run you through where we were, where we left off at, and then uh, I'm gonna try and uh, get some bags in here. We'll see if we can get a few bags up and then uh, get us out of here. So, all right, so where we left off at, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so <laughs> where we left off at, we had this wall built up a little bit. I think I put two or three rows on here. And we did some bottle wall work. You can see here. Yep, True did a lot of bottle wall work. So we're up to here right now, and that looks real good. And then we got this up higher across here. So that's, oops, sorry, that looks pretty good right there. It's getting there. So once I get the uh, framing done across here, I'm gonna have to get the roof up over the top. And once the roof comes out, then we'll go up to it and then around. So over here, uh, we got the top plates on all the way across the top, both sides, here and over here. So, uh, so that's where we're at on that. So we're gonna, today, I think what we're gonna do, cause we're a little short for time. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try and get some more bags up on top of this wall, maybe bring it up one, maybe two rows whatever I can get done before it's time to leave so yeah all right so I'm gonna set up the camera and then we'll get it going so stick around
So, um, <laughs> whenever we left the property, I did a video showing everything, all the work that we did and everything that we did before we left. And I went through the whole thing. And apparently what happened was that the video was recording prior to me pushing the button. And then when I pushed the button to record, it actually turned it off. So I have footage of leading up to but none of the actual leaving the property, so. <laughs> uh, rookie mistake, I'm embarrassed. I should have went back and watched it to make sure it was good before we left and then redid it because it didn't show up. But I'm still learning this stuff, so. Anyways, so uh, what I've done is I've come home. So um, just as an update on the property, what we did is we put another layer across all the way across the top of the inside wall while we were out there and uh, True helped me with that she did a bunch of the shoveling and filling bags and all of that stuff and I got it all lined out so um, when we go back next week um, we might put one more row on top but I'm not sure I want to take some more measurements and look at what we got and what we're doing but um, right now where it's at we're about four feet from the bottom of the lateral support to the top of the um, The bag wall, so I'm thinking um, I can take a four foot piece of Lumber and cut it in half and have all of the parts that I need to do the vertical so um, I might actually bring it up a little bit more just to close it up because I do have the slope because it's kind of sloping and the four foot measurement is from the back so I might actually do that just to shorten it up a little bit more just to get more out of the lumber because we have the bags and we have the dirt and the lumber is what's expensive so I'm thinking we might add another row however anyways so um, so uh, we got that situated up there and again next week I believe we're probably gonna put one more row and then start the framing um, on the inside and then in the, the uh, angles on the sides of the building so I think that's the plan. So what I've done is I've come home and I have drawn the plan for the grill, the, the outdoor kitchen. So this is just the brickwork that we're gonna do for the CMU brick to start it out. And then we're gonna have a few layers of that. And then this, we're gonna put uh, three two inch slabs of concrete on top of that and then build it up here. So we're gonna use CMU on this side. This is where I'm gonna put the uh, uh, bread oven. And then this over here, this will be the grill, and then this will be the burners. So we're gonna do a couple of rows of that, and we have to alternate the brick. So that's why there's two separate plans. And then this will be the slabs that go on the top there. So this will be open for the grill. This will be closed for the uh, bread oven. And then these will be the openings for the burners and for the uh, chimney flue right here. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. So we have the bread oven here, uh, the open grill here, and the burners with the uh, uh, flue right here. So and then this is what it would look like from the front. So this is going to be open in here all the way underneath. And then here's your first slabs and then your second slabs and then this is going to be open for the grill and then this will be open for the burners and then this will be the flue underneath of the burners and then this will have its own flue so what I'm thinking is I have some grills that will fit in here let me get that set you okay there we go yeah I have some grills that will fit in here so I just need to make hangers on the sides for them and then this will build this and then the circle right here that flue is going to be that uh, five inch piece of flue that I got from the property off of the other stove out of the RV and then we'll use these right here we'll use those pieces that we had from the RV and then this will be the fire brick flue that I have and then also all of this is going to be fire brick right here and then we'll have to purchase the CMU blocks 
and then what I'm thinking is that we will uh, I'll measure out and form up and pour the concrete slabs here at the house in town I'm thinking we'll do it in the garage because it's a controlled environment and it's a lot cleaner and we can probably make them a lot nicer and three foot by three foot slabs aren't too big to pick up so we can pick them up and carry them and put them in the back of the truck and uh, haul them up to the property so I'm thinking sometime uh, in the next few weeks or month whatever we'll do the uh, slabs in the garage so that'll be a fun little thing maybe I'll do that on one of the weekends that I can't make it up there if it happens that way hopefully we can make it every weekend but sometimes things happen and you can't get up there so if that happens perhaps one of those weekends we'll use to do the slabs for the uh, for the outdoor kitchen so anyways so that's where we're at for right now uh, I apologize for you know not having that ending footage I do have some pictures I'll put up some pictures that I took and uh, I'll put those up at the end of the video and uh, yeah that's it for now so uh, like and subscribe Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.